Okay, so this is a key machine that was dropped off by my back uh, door of the locksmith shop. Um, be, having a locksmith shop, you get stuff like this all the time that people have in their garage or maybe some relative has done locksmithing before. And uh, this is about, I would say, 50 years old. This is an old Curtis machine. Um, let's see if we can see the serial number on here. Okay, so the model is 2H and looks like 33159 for a serial number. And, uh, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with the thing. Um, it's not something really I'd cut a customer's key with. Um, I did cut a key earlier on it. There is a no on and off switch, so. Basically, you plug the thing in, you must, whoever had it must have used a power strip to turn it on and off. I think what I'm going to do is take it all apart just for fun. Um, really, there's not a real use for it here in the shop. My machines are way more accurate than this. Um, but I did cut a key, and uh, let me plug this thing in, and we'll see, uh, see how she works. So I did cut a key on it, um, like I said, there's no on and off switch. So there must have been at one time, I see a little spot here for a switch. So I'll probably what I'm intending to do is, I'm going to take this all apart, repaint it. Um, I cut a key, it was only, it was off maybe about 3,000 or 300 thousandths of an inch. Uh, so it will cut a working key. Um, I'll replace the cutter, take it all apart, I'm going to repaint it. Um, steel wool down the slides and uh, put a switch on it, make it look good. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it's just something fun to do. Um, I have several antique key machines and uh, this one here, it's old, but it's not as old as what I like to redo. Um, like I said, it's probably 50 years old. I have a few of the older Curtises I got in. Also, people dropped off which are the fully automatic Curtises. They're kind of a neat machine. But the, the big problem with these machines are is their adjustments. Um, if they would have done some kind of micrometer system on adjusting these things, they would have been a way better machine. Same thing with this too. This has the old, the old mentality on adjusting it with a screwdriver. Again, if there was some kind of micrometer on here that you could adjust how many thousandths of an inch, this would have been a, a nicer machine. Anyways, I just thought I'd do a little video on this machine. Yeah, I thought it had pretty cool wing nuts. You know, a little bit different. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys what someone dropped off. I get, having a locksmith shop, you get stuff dropped off all the time. I had a customer drop off some books the other day. Some old locksmith uh, lock picking books and stuff. I just put them out here so for the customers to look at. But, uh, anyways, thought I'd show it to you. Signing off.